chances are you recognize this sound. At Gage and Avalon here, a shooting that took place. It's still looking like a decent ride through this particular stretch of the five. Helicopters now a fixture on local news, but it wasn't always that way. They took off the camera monitor that the cameraman would look through. Uh, to save weight. Cleve Landsberg is son of television pioneer Klaus Landsberg, the founder of KTLA Television in Los Angeles, the first station west of the Mississippi in 1947. Had a vision of having what he called an eye in the sky and putting a camera up in the air. Klaus was the engineer who developed the original plans for the telecopter back in the 1940s. You hear me loud and clear in your airborne? It wasn't until 1958 when it went live for the very first time. Right over the Western Avenue uh, cutoff over the Hollywood Freeway now. Back then they were using a simple single rotor unit. It could fly for less than an hour on a tank of fuel. It was made famous by the TV series MASH. Here we go. Today's TV copters have come a long way. This is called an Airbus AS350. It's called an A-Star, but we call it Sky 5 HD. They're sent everywhere, from traffic to breaking news. It's got a 143-gallon tank, and that enables us to stay airborne for anywhere from two and a half to three hours of flight. And unlike the early days, current models like KTLA's Sky 5 have three cameras. So we have the camera that's mounted on the front of the helicopter. We also have a uh, rear camera here. We also have a camera up in the front for you know our pilots and kind of get another uh, vantage point within the cockpit. It's like a flying TV studio. Police and fire scanners as well as GPS help the TV helicopter tell the story from high up in the sky. There we go guys. The views today just as impressive as the old days.